Thank you. you. Guys ready for bed yet? A little bit late. <laughs> Appreciate you guys hanging around. Um, you know, fun game uh, for our team. So much for us to grow on. Um, really, you know, think we operated well early. Um, and really throughout the game on, on both sides of the balls and in special teams, uh, had some you know difference maker plays. But obviously, we got to eliminate the shooting ourselves in the foot. It showed up in the past. It showed up again this game. And we got to do a better job of coaching that. The penalties can't happen. It has to be something that we improve on. We're going to take it serious, and we're going to do a good job of it. And I can promise that. Um, but something that we're looking to grow from. Um, a lot of positives we can take away from this game, but also a lot of moments of growth. Um, we're trying to be the best version of us, and we're not quite there yet. James. We actually haven't had a chance to ask you yet with penalties, Dan. Just what is your uh, accountabilities? How do you go about handling it during the week? Or even... Yeah, we keep track of them all through practice. Um, and, you know, we have, you know, standard kind of operation, but I think we need to improve that and figure out a different way we can do it. On the left, Eric. Was it encouraging, though, just to see, I mean, almost every drive in the first half was sustained and, and obviously the self-inflicted wounds, but some of the responses to, to finish a couple of those after after penalties? Yeah, there's certainly some positives we can take, you know, away from tonight. You know, we, we ran the ball really well. Um, we were able to, you know, do some things really successfully. But I think for us to be the team that we want to be, we got to make sure that we don't, you know, hurt ourselves. Right here, front right. Coach Bo got off to a little bit of a... Rocky and kind of slower, slower start. What was the conversation on the sideline with him, the offensive coach Dillingham, and kind of how to let him settle down a little bit and uh, get back into that rhythm? There wasn't a lot um, other than, hey, let's operate and do what we've done. You know, uh, do do what the plays intended to do. There's a couple of plays that he extended that you know didn't work out the way that it needed to work out. And I think just lean back into what your job is and what the system is, and if the opportunity is there, we'll take advantage of it. All the way in the back, Matt. Almost 10 yards a carry. Just Why was your offense so effective running the football? We want to lean on our strength. I think our O-line's been a strength all year, and our backs are running really hard. And I mean, we were obviously able to involve the quarterback in the run game and um, wide receivers. That was part of our plan coming in. And if they didn't take it away, we wanted to continue to lean on it. Front left, James. Defensively, it seemed like Bennett and Noah, obviously the combined on the fumble play, but Bennett had a lot of short tackles in space. Noah obviously comes up with the fumble recovery. Just how do you think each of them played defensively tonight? Yeah, ultimately, you're going to have to go back and watch the film. Um, but that takeaway was a huge play in the game. The takeaway and then having the opportunity to pick that up and move it back down into the red area was really, really big for our team. That was a momentum play that we needed. Um, and we preach takeaways a lot, and you, it's good to start to see them show up in games. Without DJ in the first half, how, how key was it? I think Brandon had a sack on like the second play from scrimmage. And, like the pressure in the first half was, was pretty consistent, even without him. Yeah, we, I mean, we have good players. And I think when uh, they get the opportunity to operate within the system, understand, I think I, our guys had a good understanding of what they were going to get tonight uh, from our opponent. And being able to execute, knowing what you're going to be able to get, and then execute the technique required to, to create some success, you know, showed up there for Brandon. Back to James. In a game where two of the league's best corners were playing, and I realized they're not playing each other. Old Wilson to two catches for 14 yards. Gonzo was targeted pretty consistently, but I think only allowed one catch on the night. How did you think he he did, and how you guys did in guarding against Wilson tonight? Yeah, my my early impression of uh, Christian was that he did a really good job. I actually told him as a man, it's great to see us get some good work to you tonight. Um, so so he can go defend some passes, and I thought he did a good job of doing that. Um, I know he had the one penalty. Um, just want to go back and evaluate his overall performance, but in the moments that the ball came his way, I thought he did a good job. On the right, Rob. Well, you, you mentioned the, the fumble, but when, you know, when, when Troy makes such an acrobatic play and then you get a turnover and then can score again, two touchdowns in 23 seconds, having kind of spun your wheels at times early in the game, just what did that sequence mean overall in terms of feeling like you were starting to get momentum going? Yeah, there's been a there's been a couple times this year where we're actually able to end the half with a score and then turn around and come back and have a you know great opportunity to start the second half. Um, you know, just in general, being able to put the ball in the end zone is obviously a critical and it creates momentum for your team. Um, and our guys have been able to do that at a high you know high rate. We want to be consistent and continue to do that, you know, throughout the rest of the season. And right now, it's hard to say that anybody stopped us other than ourselves, right? So if we can remove some of those self-inflicted wounds, we can continue to move the ball and be successful once we get down there in the red area. Back row, 
I mean, we knew Bo was athletic, but he kind of showed an extra gear, some extra juice on that 80-yarder. I think his longest one before that was 30 yards. Was that something that surprised you at all? What was your reaction to him taking off like that? I gave him a really hard time last week. We threw the throwback to Bo on the um, you know play at Washington State, and I said, man, I really didn't expect you to go down like that. So I've been kind of jabbing him for a long time here. I'm, I didn't realize you were you know the sliding quarterback type and uh, or jump on the ground guy. So that run was fun. When he got over there, he was sucking wind on the sideline. <laughs> so he was running hard. He let up a little bit at the end, and, you know, their defender came in there uh, aggressive uh, at the end with an opportunity to punch it out. But I'm, I'm proud of the way he finished there. Might have to do just a little bit extra conditioning for 80-yard runs. All in the back, bro. To piggyback off of that, him being the first player on the team to rush for 100 yards in a game this season, did you sort of see that going in? Obviously, again, knowing that he, was, he could – run the ball yeah I didn't know that stat I don't, I don't get hung up on stats but I'm not surprised if you have an 80 yard run you probably should rush for 100 <laughs> when you have a game like this where you're able to work a bunch of guys in um, later in the game just from an evaluation standpoint I mean just how different a challenge is that fun a challenge knowing you've got a whole bunch of different guys to track and grade and, and give feedback to it's certainly a challenge, but this this is a program that's about development, right? We want to develop players, and you develop players through experience, right? So having an opportunity to put some guys in there at the end of the game and create some experience for them to grow from, that's something we want to be able to do. James, on a more personal note, you took great pride growing up that your parents were there for, and your dad especially was there for every one of your games as a kid. This is the first weekend that they were here, and track was here, and Blake was here, and this stuff. What is it like? What does that mean to you? After? Yeah, it's great to have great support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the people that supported me. So I'm certainly glad that my, my uh, parents were able to be here. That was fun. Middle left, Derek. What did you make of the atmosphere tonight? Late game, thought was, fans? thought it was impressive, right? It's impressive. You know, like 8 o'clock, you know, that's usually time to tuck it in. And they came out strong. I mean, Otson and the, the student section – uh, I think one of our administrators came up to me before the game and said it's 45 minutes till kick and the student section's packed. And that's what makes Oregon so special. You know, that environment here uh, really makes us elite. So it was, a, it was a great atmosphere tonight. In the back, Matt. Loaded, suit up. Just what was the status with him pregame? And do you feel like you came out healthy with this game? I'll have to get with, uh, you know, Chief, our, our trainer, and kind of catch up and see where things are at. I don't know what injuries we had, but he was unavailable right before the game. On the left, Eric. I'm not ending on a negative one, but just the, the penalties in particular in the first half, like different ones than you've seen in previous games in terms of like pre-snap stuff. Was that alarming or concerning more in terms of just wasn't repeat stuff, it was something new? Extremely alarming and extremely concerning, and we're going to work on it, right? Um, certainly a negative way to end, right? But yeah, it's it's something we got to get better at, and we're not going to like sit here and ignore it. It's something we got to go improve on. Yeah, there you go. Positive note to finish. I don't think we've asked you about Bucky, and he obviously had a pretty strong night with 10 for nearly 100. What did you see from him tonight where he's clearly starting to, to catch a little bit of fire here the past couple of weeks? Yeah, he just the same things that show up in practice, right? The guy works really hard, runs really hard, does a good job, and uh, consistently proud of his performance in, in games, and it's the same thing that shows up in his work ethic and everything else that he does. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Have a great night. Thank you.